Alright guys, sorry for the wait. Um I just did a little bit the the bitstream to see if uh No no no, check it out now, let me know now because I'm looking at the FPS and I'm looking at the at the streaming uh, speed and it's it's on the green. See before when you told me that it was uh lagging a little bit I can notice it was going from, from green to orange and then to red. So let's try it out now and you let me know, you know just in case if, if it gets better or not. Alright? So, that being said, just let me know. Let me know, bad luck. You know, because I adjusted that and it's, it's looking pretty good from here, from the numbers. So it should be a little bit better now. Alright. Okay, expert. Oh yes, an expert. Of course. What else can I play? I get my ass kicked, but never mind. Nobody cares about that. <clears throat> By the way, this is Bonk's Revenge. Alright, that's what I want to hear. Alright, cool, cool. I was wondering about that, about the mic, because I, in the settings I lowered the, the game's volume, so it would overpower the mic, so, if you tell me it's okay, I'll be able Alright. Hell yeah. If you come to think about it, he's an awesome mascot, I mean... This was like the closest that NEC came to actually replicating a, a mascot for the company. I mean, well, it's all right if it sounds mono, because mono is you know Spanish for monkey, and it's okay. I, I, I'm perfectly cool with being a monkey, and I doubt it that there's gonna be a lot of people trying to run this in their home theaters with. You know, 5.1 or 7.1 or some of that crap. So, it's cool. If you can hear me. How was that flying? Oh, oh crap! Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. I don't like the donkey content. Jump! All right, all right, go ahead. Para aquellas personas que están este, escuchando de las amistades que le avisé por Facebook, eh, este jueguito se llama Bones Revenge. Este jueguito es, yo diría que uno de los mejores que salió para el sistema de Turbo Graphics 16, que fue una máquina que salió de la compañía de NEC para aquel tiempo que antes de que saliera el Super Nintendo. Y no mucha, mucha gente conocieron a NEC como un competidor de todas las consolas, pero sí. Esta consolita está brutal. Mira este. Dime si hay un personaje más metal que este. Mira. Que banquea, tira, tira fuego por la boca. This freaking awesome. They don't make them like this anymore.
Now you want. Now you want. Hey, uh, yeah, bro. What the hell am I supposed to do here? I can't. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Kick his ass! Kick his ass! Kick his ass! That's it, baby. Pause for a second here. Get off screen. Hmm. All right, just kind of wetting my whistle here a little bit. I can't be showing this kind of stuff, but you know, kind of like this. Yeah. All right. Let's get back to it. Como le estaba diciendo en español, aquella audiencia que está viendo en español, esta maquinita pegó bastante en los Estados Unidos. No sé, pues yo estaba en Nueva York para ese tiempo que salió. No sé si esto tuvo alguna acogida aquí en Puerto Rico. Bandler, can you answer that, can you answer that question? Eh, since I was in New York, back at the time where this came out. Was it like really hot over here in Puerto Rico or, or did it sell or didn't it? Because I know in New York where I was living, this was like the bomb when it came out. Ah, crap, I lost a freaking barbecue. Get over here. You bastard. Over here. What's your problem? No. 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 Come on. Keep it steady. Oh crap! How the hell you get out of this? That little son of a. No, you won't. Yes, you will. Crap! How do you hit those things? Come on. Oh, I can't die. I can't. No. Oh. You've got to be kidding me. There has to be a way to hit those. No. I got to get the heart. got to get the heart. Get off me. There you go. Seriously? I got to kill it. I'll, I'll, I'll leave you. Yeah, I figured that much. I figured that much. Because to be honest, even in New York where it had like uh, massive marketing and it had, you know, a lot of people, any people who would like gaming, you know, would know about the Turbo Graphics. But I didn't know how it was over here in Puerto Rico. So. A dive. A dive. A dive. Look at that face. Look at that face. He's pissed. Look at that. Give me some fries. And. Go over here. Yeah. It's time to kick some ass. Come on, let me kick, kill a few more. There you go. And I remember back. What happened? What do you mean? What do you mean head dive? What do you want? Like this? Like a flaming head dive? There's so many paths that I, I forgotten where it was. I mean, back in the day, I would know every inch, every corner of the freaking game, and now it's like. Ugh. Get over here. I 
How did we get up there? Oh no. It's not looking good. There's supposed to be something here. Yeah, I can use this. That's right. Oh! Now I messed up. No, you don't mess. Oh, now I messed up because I can't go to the top floor from here. The thing about this is timing the jumps. Because unlike unlike Mario, Mario and then Sonic, where you kind of get the timing for the jumps and the attacks and stuff, this guy has kind of like a little bit of physics to it. Moving around, it's like his body is really light, but his head carries that weight. You can you can feel the momentum. So you gotta time the jumps really carefully. I'm telling you, this this is like one of the best games, platform games at the time. There you go. Go top side. Come on, come on. Get my barbecue. No, oh, I lost the barbecue meat. Boss room. That's right. Oh crap. There you go. Time to go to the boss. Holy You gotta be kidding me. No, oh, that was my bad for just sitting there like a you know what? Wake up. It's not over yet. No! Now I gotta be careful where these suckers fall. No! Damn, almost had him. I got three more lives anyway. Hold on for a second. Excuse me. Hmm. Alright. Get back to it. I lost my chance again. No! Alright, get over here. No! Alright. Now, oh, he switched on me. That's how you're supposed to do that. Get out of the way, get out of the way. How the hell he hit me there? Oh, come on, come on, come on. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Oh my god. This game has me. <laughs> Jeez. There you go.
All right, so basically, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop there the the, the Fox Revenge and go for because believe me, I have it's, this is a long long list. And there are so many more that I remember from back in the day. I would say another one, the really good ones. Being a, a, a shooter fan, was this one right here. Blazing lasers. Benito, aquí tengo la medicina tuya. Así que mira a ver si vienes para acá para curarnos en salud y para Andy también. Yeah, I'm just teasing my my friends Benito and Andy so they can come over and we can play the shooters because they're shooter fans. Just like Sometimes I have them go into my place, you know, to, to hang out for a while, whatever, and I, I put on the hyperspin. Hyperspin. I basically put on main in the hyperspin and have them just play all the arcade shooters, and they freaking spend hours upon hours playing those games. Reliving the memories back when we were in high school. There's something very interesting. Well, I I wouldn't call Afro Soul. I wouldn't call it. I wouldn't call it Space Invaders. You know what? I I feel that it has more in common. I don't know if you remember a shooter from the Super Nintendo era, uh, Space Mega Force. Uh, I think the Japanese version was uh, Super Super Aleste or something like that. It has the same. Like the same power-up structures and uh, the way the power-up looks, it's almost the same. I mean, I haven't looked it up, but it has to be like the same people making that one. Which, by the way, on the Super Nintendo, that that game, Space Mega Force, that was one of the best shooters as well. A little on the easy side, but it was really good. Oh, I just, I just wasted a bomb. Here we go. And just like a new, it got killed. Good to have you back, bad luck. I was just telling uh, Mr. Afro Soul that he said that it, that it kind of looks like has like the Space Invaders feel. I, I was telling him that this one I feel has more in common with the Space Mega Force. Remember that shooter from Super Nintendo? That one we played it. I know you got into it as well. And it has the, the same laser. The way the lasers move and turn and twist is just like Space Mega Force. Which I'll, I'll basically cover that one as well when we get to the Super Nintendo. Ah, oh, come on, you gotta be kidding me. Alright, homing. I think I'll stick with those. And upgrade them. See? See this right here? The way the lasers are? That's super realistic right there. Me está diciendo aquí en inglés a los muchachos que el, este shooter eh, tiene mucho en común, aunque se llama diferente, tiene mucho en común con un shooter que salió para el Super Nintendo que se llama Space Mega Force. Que la versión japonesa se llama Space Al Este o Super Al Este o algo así. Que probablemente esta es una versión anterior o más joven. De aquella de Space Mega Force. 
Of course I got R type. I mean R type is like I got I actually I got both of them here. R type one and two. I got owned. I got owned. And as you can see, there's no there's no checkpoints. There's no save points. There's no like where, wherever you no no you gotta go all the way back and start this shit all over again. One of the things that I miss from this era. to get this shit done. That's it. That's what I needed before the freaking shield. This is it. Hurry up, you fucking eye bitch. Hurry up. That's it. Damn. I was getting owned and I just had to drop a bomb. That's it. Alright. By the way, if you like what you're seeing now, um, since I'm going to be covering at least the first few streams on the Turbo Graphics system, if there's, you know, any requests, any games you want to see, just, you know, go ahead and drop a line, let me know. Splatterhouse, yep. Yeah. That's another classic. I believe I have it there. And I have... Believe it or not, I have a even more obscure than Turbo Graphics. Actually, I have the Super Graphics games, which I can run here. So, all of five or six games that came out for that system. I remember when I was in New York, when this came out, or when this was about to launch in New York, actually, in all the stores, the, the, the game stores, that were kind of like mom and pop stores at that time, no GameStop, no none of that shit, um, they, uh, they used to have a lot of import games. And one of the things that they were selling was the Super Graphics. Super Graphics didn't last much at all. It was pretty overpriced for what it did. And it was a shame because they could have done something with that. But unfortunately, it did not sell well. Only five or six games came out with it. So. Super Graphics. So let's see. What can we do next? I'm gonna take the request. Which one? Which one you want? You want Splatterhouse? Let me know. You want Splatterhouse? Or which one you want? We want R Type. If I put on R Type, you're just gonna see me get killed over and over again. The Japanese name for Turbo Graphics was PC Engine. The PC Engine, which actually for, for quite a bit of time kicked uh, Nintendo 8 bit system over there in Japan, it kicked his ass. It was gaining a lot of ground over there in Japan, but once the NES monster dropped down here and the rest of the world, forget it. That's it, it was over. It was over. <laughs> They tried to do something with the uh, Super Graphics, but mm -mm, didn't go anywhere. So, um, 
Which one? Um, bad luck. You want uh, our side or you want the slaughterhouse? Ah, uh, don't worry. Don't worry about that. I'm not gonna ask you what happened. Okay, one of the games. Really? Huh. Okay. I haven't seen anything. Um, Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you guys. I know I have it here. You want a super graphics game. Which was ironically one of the Girls and Gold games. Sayonara Sayonara. This came out for the Super Graphics. One of the pirates was good at it. Uh -huh. And there goes the dog. Yeah. Even he is happy that when it goes into Osana, there's no graphics to see. Oh, my God. Well, seriously. Seriously? Everything seems to be working fine on this end. Hold on for a second. Huh? Everything seems to be cool over here. And the streaming seems to be doing fine, so... Alright, let's get... Oh! I got killed. That was your fault. Bad luck. Shouldn't have distracted me. Alright, now I'm gonna focus. Yep, that's my dog. Well, one of the dogs, that's Houdini. This right here is one of the best versions that you could get at that time of Ghouls and Ghosts. And almost no one played it. That is until we got the Super NES version, which, you know, looked a bit better than this one, but this was it. This was like the best version ever. But almost nobody played it because it was only available for Super Graphics at that time. Ah, oh, come on! I just got that. Yeah, don't don't think too much into that. <laughs> you hear bad luck? Don't think too much about the bad luck. The fact that I'm getting my ass kicked has nothing to do with your bad luck, so don't worry about that. Seriously? Oh my... Yeah. Just like that. Come on, guys, make me work. Give me something. Ask me for for a game, Turbo Graphics game. Do the clothes come back up? Ah, uh, yeah, actually, you get it. As a as a power up, 
you get it later on. If you don't get killed by wearing your underwear, so. Aha! When that screen used to mean something. Now you see that screen, that screen in hills. Thanks, Bad Dog. Thanks a lot. Splatterhouse? Okay, let me give a, a dry run through this one. This one you remember, Bad Luck. I mean, we used to play it on the, on the Super Nintendo, but this one was another uh, definitive version of Herodias. Or Parodius, or something like that. I don't know how. Parodius. Remember this one? Yep. <laughs> And this one was the real deal, the arcade, the arcade version one. And no, I'm not gonna go with the penguin. Actually, I'm gonna go with the octopus. Usually go with the big viper, but I'm gonna go with this one. No, I know power up. All right, now we're talking. Afro Soul is going with the classics, huh? All right, that'll be up next. I want no tail gun. I want the ripple. Or the option. Option, option, option. Okay, I need another option. Para aquellos que están escuchando en español, este es un jueguito que prácticamente pegó. Ah, me mataron. Que pegó en Japón. Es como una. El mismo nombre de lo infiere es como una parodia de un juego que se llama Gradius y pues se llama Parodius. Este, llegó a salir para el Super Nintendo, pero esta es la versión que pegó. Esta es la versión del arcade, de las máquinas. Y es una de las más fieles. Eso es. Come on, I want to get to a boss. This supposed to be the cat boss? I can't remember. Get away from me, bees. Yep, the cat boss. Let's kill the cat. Kill the cat. Here we go. Listen to that music. That's it. You're dead. Ah, oh, come 
on. By the way, if you were uh, wondering, I'm using a PlayStation 3 controller. With, uh, I'll give you a name to the, to the, ah, the software that I use to use the controller. If I don't get my ass killed here. Alright, Come on, give me an option. Option, option, option. No, you won't. Ah, tail gun. I didn't need the tail gun. I wanted the option. Oh, ah. <laughs> Peter, huh? They're all evil clowns. All clowns are evil. If not, ask Mr. Stephen King. Look at that. Alright. So I think we're gonna go for that Gaga 88 that Harful Soul was asking for. So let's load it up real quick. Well, okay. This is for Afro Soul. Um, Gaga 88. For some reason, I don't have Galaga 88, I have Galaga 90. Is that okay? Because right now, I don't know if uh, there was a Galaga 88 for this one, for Turner Graphics. All right, cool. Cool then. Perfect. Go for that one. Got it right here. Oh. <laughs> really? I'll take my chances. Thank you very much. Why you guys have to make me go through this? This is taking me too much back. Go here. Oh shit. Don't kill your own shit. There you go. Ah. Oh shit. I keep forgetting this doesn't have a pause button. Oh, it, does, it does have a pause button. I don't want to talk about it. I'm not playing the arcade game.
I see. Well, if uh, if you're a fan of, of uh, those games you mentioned, don't worry. Uh, later on, I'll do a arcade retrospective where I'll, we'll get to put on all those games as well. Because sometimes it's nice to go with the originals. One more ship, I'll probably risk getting the double one. I hope I didn't make a mistake. Because if I get killed now, I'm. Yeah, that's right. Over here. Seriously, no double anymore. This is it. Get killed. That's it. You gotta be kidding me. A, a freaking tango? I did not know that. Well, as long as it doesn't have any Regan Martin music, I'm okay. Ah. Let's see how long it lasts. Let me get rid of these suckers first. Oh! Just when I was about to get the freaking double shape. Trying to sucker punch me. No, you won't. Go. 
wasn't expecting that one. No, you cannot take me. As soon as I get my ass kicked, with, which I expected to happen really soon, I'm gonna go for a splatterhouse next. No! And there you have it. Game over. Well, guys, uh, thanks for uh, tuning in. Uh, don't worry, I'm gonna be here for a while. It's gonna take a five minute break, and I'll be right back.
All right, we're back to the attack. This time I'm going to go for a little Splatterhouse. All right, set it up. And let's go. Punch, I got a kick, and I got a jump. And that's it. This shiny thing. Oh! Nice. Smack, 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 smack. Need likes. Wow, well, there's no blood though. Oh, there goes the blood. Just a little bit of vomit there. Touch that shit. Now this I can get into for a long, long time. Spike with that shit. Ah, oh, crap. Give me back my stick. My 2x4. What's this? Oh! Crap. Pick it up. Well, right now, I I really don't have any idea. Um, for now, I don't want to set a schedule. Because I don't want to lead people on to, you know, tuning in those times and me not being able to. i rather go for kind of like improv for the time being. Uh, alright, alright. Go ahead, bad luck. So, as I was saying, I don't want to have anything set in stone in terms of the schedule yet. But yeah, I mean if it's if it catches on and it becomes something that's you know wanted and requested, yeah. I'll I'll make the time for it. But for now this is kinda like experimental. Cause to be honest, to be completely on oh wait, wait, wait. That thing sucked out all of my life? That's it? One? Oh no, wait, I gotta pay attention. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, I'll answer your question fully in a minute. Let me get out of these freaking bloodsuckers, whatever the hell they are. Come on, come on, come on, get off of me. There you go. That's it? No! Son of a bitch. Alright. Well, as time goes on, to answer the question, to fully answer the question, as time go, go on, um, if people request it and it catches on, yes, I will set a schedule. For now, uh, I'm gonna play it, you know, play it by ear for now. my stick. Oh. Mr. Zombie had a pretty nasty hangover. What's this? Oh, nice. Little wrench there. Over here. 
hanging babies. See, another thing, or another game that I would actually, when I played it back in the day, this was like, everything about it was awesome. But now, playing it after all these years, only one thing I would change. I would have this playing like something like Rob Zombie or, or I don't know, uh, Obituary or something like that in the background. That would be like, or Lamb of God. Ah, uh, <laughs> Yeah. Leeches. What do we have here? Oh, nice. What the hell is this? Oh, I'm supposed to avoid that. It still touched me. There you go. What the hell are the spiky turtles doing here from Mario in Splatterhouse? What? These punch back? What the fuck? Oh shit. gonna punch me? Yes, you did. Just had to go there. Jump? Alright. By the way, this right here, Splatterhouse, was one of those games that, like, every system had to have one. I remember this came out, this was, like, the, the first version that actually came out and became really popular. But then, uh, Sega Genesis had one. I don't know if Nintendo had one. I can't, I can't remember, but, like, everybody had to have one of these. And I think one actually came out for the other systems later on. Maybe PlayStation or something like that. And I know they made a remake also. What is this? He's a freaking Jason wannabe and he gets killed by what? A bottle? Get the fuck out of here. Ah, uh, should I continue? Uh, yeah. Wow. Oh, not from here. Hell no. Nah, nah, no way. Okay, what should we get now? Uh, let's do. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I cannot. This stream can't be complete if I don't put on this game. I mean, this is like, for the time being, it was like the go-to game when you got to pick up the system. Uh, Legendary Axe. I mean, this is it. This is like the first, the first and second one. Is like that, of course, until. As you can see, it has kind of like a Castlevania vibe to it, and the music is really, really catchy, really nice. Basic controls, you know, just jump and hit. But I remember back in the day, I used to play the crap out of this one, and it's all in the timing. That's right, Legendary Axe. This one, compared to the second one, is like really, really obsolete. Because the second one was so much better in terms of graphics, gameplay, everything. Oh crap, wait, 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 no, 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 no. And 
and just like Bonks, this has like a certain timing to the strikes and the jumps and everything. It's like. And you see what I mean about the Castlevania vibe to it? See the bats, the spiders, and all that stuff? It's almost like they wanted to copy Castlevania, but, you know, for, for fear of getting, you know, copyright something, you know, they didn't do it. They just changed a little bit, turned the, the, the character into a caveman, and that's it. Now, what I don't remember... Welcome back, bad luck. I was saying here, I was talking about a little bit about the Legendary Axe and how it became like, this was like the staple game for the system back in the day. This one and the second one. Before Bonks, you know, came out and Bonks like became the mascot, but this was it. And the packing game, I do have it around there. It's Addict something, I can't, I can't remember, no, Alpha something. Uh, how the hell do I get out of here? Wall jump? Perhaps? No? No. Do I break a stone or something? No. How am I supposed to get out of here? What the hell? How do I get out? Come on. Really? No, you won't. Many people don't understand. Oh, seriously? I hope the ladder's still there. Because if not, I'm going to throw a fucking fit. Okay. Many people don't understand the, the appeal of this system, having the NES and stuff. When you play, or when you used to play the NES system, and you go straight from that to this, I mean, the changes, the change between system is, the gameplay is basically the same, but the graphics, change in graphics is like, this would blow everybody's mind. Back in the day, of course. It was actually better. These graphics are better in uh, at least most of the cases than the Genesis games. Being that the Genesis had like only 64 colors and this had like, I think it was 512. This was a more colorful system. Get the fuck back. Freaking! Oh, this had a pattern. Hey, bad luck. You still there? And you won't get back. Bad luck. You still there? No comment on the 
cat thing. Oh, come on, come on. I gotta get rid of one of these bears first. Or are they gonna... They're gonna pound. Come on! Jump, 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 jump. No, 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 no. That's it. That's it. Yeah, I understand, bad guys. Don't, don't, don't sweat it too much. So, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and put real quick on the second part, so you can see the difference between both of them. Um, and then, as a final. Ta-da! Before I finish the streaming today, I'm gonna go for a little gem called, let me see if it's here before I promise it, by the name of Ninja Spirit. That's gonna be my closing game for tonight. Um, for more than one reason. I mean, Ninja Spirit was like everything that made awesome uh, Ninja Gaiden, but packed with more graphics and more awesomeness. Uh, you're gonna see. You're gonna see. There are plenty more games. It's gonna be impossible for me to cover them all in one stream. So bear with me. I'll probably end up doing a second part of this later on. This is just kind of like I said before, and I said it in my profile, which kind of experimental to now. And I wanted to I wanted to start with this. I wanted to start with Turbo Graphics instead of doing, you know, taking the classics from the Nintendo NES, which usually everybody does. And I'm fine with that because I love the NES. But I wanted to take a more obscure system, one less talked about system, and that's what I'm doing right now. So, well, you know what? I mean, if it comes to that and I see that people want to request or want to something like that, like a top five. Just let me know. I mean, uh, just go follow me on my social media, uh, me on my profile, and just jump around. And let me know what, what you would like. If uh, you want any changes or something, and I'll try to fit whatever you guys want. Um, okay, so basically, now I'm gonna go for. Legendary Ops 2. The mic. The mic is... 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Can you hear me? Let me know how it's doing now. Could be the streaming. Could be. I mean. All right. Cool. So first off, the first thing you're gonna notice is that the character looked nothing like the first part. This one has more like a Conan the Barbarian appearance. much quicker to swing the graphics I would say is a toss-up for now because the first one with the lush jungles and all that scenery and stuff looked really awesome but this one as you can tell I mean it has I have it with some filters on not too many because I want it to look almost as close as the original would look you know but not look too pixely. But if you compare the first one to this one, you can you can tell that this one had more work done. Ah, first improvement: the weapons. Although 
Though I have to say, I have to admit that the, the first one, the music, I liked it better though. This one feels a little bit more synthesized. The other one was kind of like more catchy. A fairy kicked me in the nuts. Can you believe that crap? A fairy. Alright. Got you, Tinkerbell. There she comes again. Quit kicking me in the nuts. What's your problem? Ooh, my sword got upgraded. Here. Ah, check it out. <laughs> Look at that beauty. Look at that beauty. This is what I'm talking about. 16 bit graphics. This is power. Right here. Something that'll kick you in the nuts and kill you right away while he's crying. Just incredible. And here she comes again. No, he won't. Aha! You won't. You can't. You can't. I'm not going to quote MC Hammer. No. I won't. Ah, bad luck. You like that, right? Here it comes. Wait for it. Look at that beauty. Ah! <laughs> it's almost... Look at that. Fucking kicks, man. Quit kicking me! What I want to know is why the fuck is he crying? Or he looks like he's crying. Ah, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. There you go. I am he -man. No. I told you I didn't want to quote MC Hammer. So don't try. Quit trying. Ah, let's see what we have here. More zombies. Now this is innovation. You had zombies in games when it wasn't popular to have zombies. And now every freaking game has zombies. And this was back in the 90s. Nothing here. No hidden room or anything. I'll kill it. No. Jump! Hey, kiddo cat. Welcome. I was 
saying that one of the last games I'm gonna have to close uh, the streaming today is gonna be Ninja Spirit. Remember that one? Oh shit, now we got blobs. Here we go. Something menacing. I wonder if there's something up here. No! No, 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 no. Go up, go up. It's bad when you go down. Go up, 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 up again. Come on, let me go up. Up, up, up. I want to go up another level. Keep going. I want to see if there's any hidden rooms up here. Oh, come on, come on, come on. There's something here. There's something here. What's this? What? Da, 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 da. I got the mighty axe. And there's something here. The zombie going crazy. That's not it. There's a room then. Oh! The bitch. Where's the exit? Approach. That's right, kiddo cat. That is game logic 101. The guy's in a swimsuit. Of course. The thing is. Okay. Should we do this way? I've never seen, seen that, that roach, roach, so I think, think I'm going to okay. Freaking, Freaking flying, flying roaches! roaches. Hate them! Get, 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 get off me! Get off me! Get off me! Quit it! Quit it! Quit it! Get off me! Sticky! Sticky! I, I guess, guess I was, was right. right. Gotta, Gotta go, go up. Because there's, there's no, no like, like no exit. exit. Seriously. That's, That's where, where I came, came through. through. Come on. 
No, actually, the, the sound, sound, the way it sounds, sounds like that, like, like I'm in the bathroom, bathroom uh, that, that's because, because of the cracking mic. Because I got, like, this is like, like the freaking $20 headset. headset. I'm like, I mean, I'm like, I mean, I can't, can't ask for more. more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, probably, probably the, 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 the mic in the, the camera, camera is much better than this one, but of course it's a lot farther away, so it's going to sound even worse. Yeah, I'm listening to what I got for now. Um, anyways, I think, I think I'm gonna put on the last game for tonight, which is gonna be in the spirit, and with that, I'll be closing the stream for today. Uh, I hope you guys liked it, uh, so far, and hopefully I'll be able to stream pretty soon, again. Uh, probably the next up, I'll, I'll do Master System or Genesis or whatever, you know. I'll let you guys know ahead of time. But this, this right, right here, this, this is what, what I'm talking, talking about. about. Ninja, Ninja Spirit. Spirit. I, can't I can't remember, remember what, what the PC engine was. Right. I'm going to go, go ahead and start it. it. Right. Ninja Gaiden or Ninja Gaiden ain't got shit on this game. This game is like, I wish they were doing more. I mean, I mean compared, compared to the, the like the first NES games, games. This, this is kind of like, like a evolution, evolution of Legend, Legend of Cage, Cage but with, with much better, better graphics and a whole bunch of magic powers, powers and stuff. And as, as you can see, see it's pretty relentless. Ah, this, uh, this is the part I love. Copy image. image. Woo! Yeah. Ooh, I want to get, get three, three or four of those. Ah! So you're trying to remember this one, huh? This, this is, is the shit right, right here, man. For, For this, this game, game alone, it was, was worth keeping, keeping around uh, uh, Turbo Graphics. I mean, at, at least, least if you're into, into the Ninja Gaiden type, type games. I mean, I, I got, got nothing, nothing against, against the Ninja Gaiden, Gaiden games, because at, at least, least in the Ninja Gaiden, Gaiden games, you know, bosses have certain patterns and stuff, and it was really hard. 
that was really awesome. awesome. I mean, the first three, beautiful. But, but this game is like, look at this, look at this shit. shit. And, and when I go, go into the, the air, this is, is what, what I'm talking about. about. Some, Some actual, actual freaking, freaking fun. fun. Now. Let's do this. No, 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 If you guys think I'm drooling over this now, wait till we get to the Super NES. Oh man, there's so many games here. Alright. Dead. Come on, I'm 
power up now. now. Oh, oh, this this, this is a... Look at this shit. Look at this shit. shit. This, this looks, looks awesome, awesome or what? Look at this shit. shit. Oh. Shit, just, just one, one hit, that's it. it. It's, it's okay, it's okay, okay guys, guys, don't worry about, about it. Because I'm, I'm, I'm about to end the stream in a few minutes anyway. As soon as I get killed here, it's, it's going to be, you know. As far as, as testing goes, goes I, I think, think this is a pretty good, good test. test. Bye-bye.